just just need to take a deep breath here because there's a lot to discuss uh, since the 3.0 update dropped last night. Um, I kind of expected the type of reaction that we're getting. Um, I anticipated it to happen, but yeah, a lot of things we need to discuss today. I even got my little notepad on deck because it's really getting to the point where we need to know what direction this game is going. Um, is it steering more towards to pay to win or free to play? Because what made this game so great initially was the idea that you can level up your decks and play against other players that choose not to spend money in this game. Now, I'm not saying nothing wrong with spending money in this game. That's a completely different video. But I'm just saying uh, the matchmaking is something that's very, very important, if not the most important element of this game. And I feel like it's not really getting addressed and it's not getting to the point where we think it can be fixed but anyways um i wasn't going to upload a video until saturday which you guys need to stop right you guys are just subbing this channel um and you're not giving me a chance but no no for real don't stop you keep subbing that channel and i'm gonna guys i'm gonna hook you guys up um but i, I just felt like it was necessary to release this video to kind of go over some things um some suggestions and tips that i may have and also i've seen a lot of concerns in the comments so i want to make sure i release a video and can kind of go over that general consensus concerns that we're getting but uh uh yeah nonetheless uh let me just jump right into the first thing i'm gonna be going over matchmaking uh some of the leaders that we're getting uh it's just really confusing time i've been confused myself and i had access to the beta so uh if you're confused hey don't worry about it i'm in the same boat as you i also i'm gonna be dropping some uh some little hints not really hints but concept cards are gonna just be just randomly coming through this video i'm not even going to address them just to show you guys what i've been working on uh and this saturday i'm gonna be dropping a nice little new concept video to celebrate and commemorate these 500 subscribers even though we're at 600 now uh definitely want to give you my appreciation that was a goal of mine and i reached that so uh yeah thank you guys all right so with matchmaking last night i was in the groove okay i actually got to 34 ranked overall which was almost close to my highest ever um, and again, it's just the first night, but I was in a groove and um, yeah, I was like, all right, cool. Matchmaking is on point. Then again, most of you guys were still asleep. Uh, I was wide awake. Now, this morning, fast forward earlier this morning on my break, on my lunch break or whatever, I was like, all right, let me run some arena. Let me let me uh, let me capitalize on that spark, that magical run I had last night. And then this is what all I started facing. It's just like it really just turned itself upside down. And I started getting nothing but these kind of matches. Uh, and it was extremely frustrating look at how many turrets he took one turret but still couldn't even kill him once um and this is a problem because the whole point is to make it so that it's fun playing i can play this game all day long i was up i was playing maybe two hours last night just getting fair matches and it was actually competitive match but i can't play this game longer than five minutes if this is what you're going to give me so uh uh I understand that it's the first day and um, it's obvious that every single time the season starts the very first day you're gonna you're gonna be playing against a pool of uh, you know grinders and a high level card that's normal but I just hope that um, with the addition of the three tiers the Grand Kyber Grand Master Kyber that they they haven't really addressed it but I feel like it is a possibility that let's say these these guys that are getting um, uh, level um, 10,000, 12,000 rating points each week. If they drop down to tier 15, which is something that I've been really pushing for, instead of dropping down to tier 12, then that really solves our issue here because we're not going to see them anymore. They're going to drop down to tier 15 because there's so many tiers now. So it does make sense. Again, it hasn't been confirmed, but uh, they have flirted with that idea. So uh, that's one thing that will save us because I can't even experiment. I have a nice Bosk level four, level five, whatever. I can't even use him because he's not strong enough and I'm going to just be going up against Rays and they're going to turn it. So anyways, my main point is that if they make it so that the top grinders that are just in the top 5, top 10, and top 200, if they drop down to tier 15 as opposed to tier 12, then that really opens up the game for us players that are really not invested in playing that much and just want to have fun. Uh, we don't care about you know the little, the little number next to our name saying we're ranked. That doesn't mean much, but... um. So what I did today after I was getting stomped out clean is I went ahead and, and selected the open matchmaking, which is a new feature available during in-game and you can go into settings and you can change that as well. So it's like, all right, cool. It does says it'll align you with decks that are within your um, vicinity of level. So I'm like, all right, cool. 
So what happens? Right away I see Captain Phasma. I see nothing but Darth Maul start appearing because everybody's playing um, the dark side. And what this open matchmaking does is it pretty much pairs you up with any faction within the radius um, of your level. So I was just literally, it was me standing on the left side and then a Thrawn or Maul standing on the side and then both of our assassin spiders are playing chicken and there's, it's like a cockfight. And I was like, dude, what is this? So pretty much if you go to open matchmaking, yes, you get fair matches, but it just becomes a bore fest. Like literally, it was boring. I dropped the first order of riot troopers. Guess what he did? He dropped the same first order of riot troopers. I dropped the bomber on his turret for some chip damage. He dropped the bomber on my on my turret for some chip damage. We was literally matching each other eye for eye, and it was extremely boring. I said, you know what? I'm done. Um, so I'd rather take my chances in not selecting the open matchmaking because i don't want to face the same faction i don't want to see the same units that i'm playing with um and that's just the metaphor right now so the main thing for me is you want to give it a day or two maybe play arcade and then jump back on it but i think towards next week when the season resets we're going to see those top players um, with the high level eight level cards you're not going to see them anymore and for me i'm not going to be playing up to tier 17 from tier 12 i just don't have the time to do it i'm sorry I'll probably get up to tier 14, tier 15, and then I'll stop and get my rewards. Whatever you give me, I'll take. So that's one thing that's good, and it's a, there's a big promise for matchmaking. If that's the route that Netmarble's going, then there is hope. So I don't want you guys to panic about the matchmaking today because I was going through it, bruh. I was going through it to the point where I was thinking about just throwing my phone across the damn balcony. So um, you guys give it some time, and you won't see what you're seeing right now, this ridiculous deck that just stopped me out clean. But yeah, let's jump right into the leaders and the overnight sensation of just having all these leaders you can max out out of nowhere. All right, so when I when a thing was updated and I was like, okay, cool, let me max out. I know I can uh, get Jin level five. I noticed a ton of different other leaders that weren't close originally to level five based on the original um, pre-update qualifications to upgrade a card. I noticed Lando was ready. Well, Luke was good to go, but Baze and also um, who else was there? I think it was just four, those four. Okay, I'm talking about my other account. But these guys were all ready to go, and I'm like, all right, that's crazy. So it wasn't just me. Everybody got this. Every Net Marble pretty much added a couple more cards to help you upgrade your levels. Now, that's fine and all. The only problem with this now is it's literally depreciated the value of these cards. A level five now feels like a level four, probably a little bit less than that. And I can say this because I've been using Dooku at level 6, and he's nowhere near stronger than he was at level 5. It feels like he's a lot weaker. Um, I even have this mall right here ready to go level 6, but for 30,000 credits? Trying to run me 30,000 to upgrade him to level 6? I'm just not going to do it. But look, you got all these cards here that I'm able to upgrade to level 5 now. Um, we have a uh, Bosk and Vader, but I'm not going to do it because 1, that's a lot of money. And 2, it's really, really pushing your turret level up. I'm at level 19. Can you imagine if I level up all these guys right now? First, I don't have the credits to do it, but it's going to put me in the 22, 23 um, level turret, and it's going to pair me up with the higher, the spenders, and I'm like, I want to avoid that. So uh, now it takes literally three or four cards to level up a turret. So that's very, very strange. It's really bizarre. Um, and one thing I want to say about this partisan, what happened to it? What happened to it? Look at, okay, at level 13, it has 773 health look what they've done to the tie bomber which is good but 802 attack power so that that partisan that was really good back in the day you're not going to see it anymore because why would you play a card that's going to get taken out for energy and plus they're probably going to use it on your turret with additional surrounding units this card is obsolete now so i don't know why they did this if you're going to increase the bomber increase the partisan as well because they really <laughs> made this card not usable why would you waste a four energy card but anyway that's just a mini rant there um so yeah the my leaders feel depreciated that the, the value of it's depreciated they no longer feel level five um and i'm i'm kind of worried about that because i don't really want to level them up any further um if it's just going to be a disadvantage to me so uh if you have cards that are level four ready to level five just keep them as they are right now because you're better off leaving everything how it is right now to kind of uh increase the better odds of you getting a good match or else you're going to be at the mercy of the matchmaking okay so the data card quest mode i actually am a big fan of this i think it's a really good mode it's fun it's innovative it's new and it's something that i really enjoyed playing for the first two times all right so i played for the first time i was like oh this is dope let me jump on the difficulty two required seven tiers sure why not i got you i was even rocking lando i'm like all right this is nice you know at are in this game 
let's go to work so i got to the uh, difficulty two required tier i passed that but i'm like all right well let's i got time i was like i was at work I was like, you know i got time let's do this and then it says i gotta pay 100 crystals i'm like really wait what and i'm looking for an option to not pay you know it's just kind of how it is with the uh, arcade mode and boost energy all out war there's always a free option where you don't want to bet anything there's nothing in this so i was really disappointed from that because it's a good mode and i had fun doing it um and yeah it's pretty much limited to two and then you got to start dropping 100 crystals so that's another thing that that kind of bothers me and it kind of concerns me because you don't want to steer towards that path where you introduce a new mode but you have to pay to play it i mean it's that doesn't really make sense if you're going to do that then do it with all the arcade modes you know that are boost and whatever draft mode but that i'm not going to pay 100 crystals and even if you do even if you do pay 100 crystals and you lose you get nothing if you get literally no data cards so you're really again at the mercy of pouring some money into this game uh and i don't know uh very controversial to me i just felt like all right cool you can use a different leader but now i gotta wait 24 hours to play just two more games um and as for these data card quests save your crystals okay do not do not spend money on these data card quests because we don't really know too much and it's a game of chance i really because if you get a card with uh maybe one star that can increase the health of all your units and you want to upgrade it guess what you're not guaranteed to get that to second star so it, a lot a lot of random number generators here um and yeah again that's not that's not worth it for me so uh i'll get into it as what what um what you should spend your crystals on but definitely do not waste your crystals on this mode you want to save your crystals and i'll tell you what um to do that but for now let me jump into something else something else that i want to talk about so this is what i want to talk about the light side the light side is ex in a very very bad spot right now and it's been that way for a while um in addition with this new update it seems like some of your leaders that were really strong like old man luke they're not so strong anymore and a lot of people are losing more games than they normally would win um so i know that the last video i mentioned some of the perks that you can use um to for like example cassian's range as your stun and jin's bleed damage jin's bleed damage you get that right away but if you want to increase it you got to upgrade the perks and right now as it stands you can't just get perks for free you get their standard and you can deconstruct cards but you're not really going to be able to max out your perks unless you uh you know you you spend a little coin but um without the perks the light side is really really in a tough spot and i feel like um you're going to just have to rely on the daily rewards um the daily logins because the, to get the perks that you want is going to take time it really is and that's only for one leader so you really got to just invest in one leader if you're choosing a free-to-play mode um but but there is hope because i wanted to go over uh one of the things that i feel the crystals are really worthy of using on uh and that's this right here let me show you real quick where did i go did i just pass it i think i did just pass it all right so um right here is the perks package you can buy this 10 times don't recommend it unless you got that much coin but for 3,000 perk points you're only dropping 720 crystals and you get 20,000 credits and i don't know about you i'm gonna get into the credits in a little bit but i just filed chapter 7 bankruptcy um, as of last night because of the fact that i've spent all my credits on upgrading my units and i have nothing anymore i'm literally at zero um i think i like 10,000, but that was on my alternate account so yeah, this is a really good package to spend your crystals on if you're looking to expedite the perks you need. So if you rock Cassian uh, and you, you're deconstructing cards as of yesterday, um, you want to get that third perk, buy this. Buy this so that you can go ahead and get that third perk level uh, and keep going for it because this is going to be really good. Um, the actual perk badges or the whatever those things are called, you're not going to be able to get those. You're going to you're gonna have to spend for that. But for these, you're at least not spending money using the crystals that you have. So I do recommend the perk points and credits package it's a perfect chance to get perk points and credits get the currency needed for leader perks now all right so that's something i do want to go ahead and uh, uh, encourage you to do if you do spend it this one right here do not waste your time with it don't do it just don't do it all right you want to get over here and you want to increase your leader's ability because as of right now the light side leaders are just not doing it for me for me they're not doing they're not doing it for anyone else that's why when you go to open matchmaking everyone's playing dark side and you immediately immediately queue up with a dark side leader with the same units all right so when we launched this update we also realized that a lot of our units are a lot higher than they were before and then you're also to upgrade them too but geez look at the cost 30,000 which is normal but still um to upgrade this card 30,000 
it just seems like it's really excessive in terms of um, the cost and we don't have credits to do it. I burned through almost 180,000 credits. I don't even feel like I made a dent. And in addition to that, light side and dark side, my units feel weaker. So I'm literally kind of playing catch up and trying to upgrade my car to get them to their normal stats because they just don't feel the same. And we saw with the Partisan, the Partisan is no longer going to be a card you want to use because that bomber will just clean it out. Um, so that's something that uh, you definitely want to take notice in. Um, use your credits wisely. Only spend on the cards you feel you actually need. But as for the crystals, as for the crystals, you're going to want to use them specifically on things that you want. Like we mentioned the perks, you want to use it on the perks, but also the foil cards. All right. So let me get into the foil cards. Um, this one is not really worth it because we have uh, Luke and Han Solo, and I don't want to rock either one of those guys. And then you have Darth Vader and Boba Fett. So if you're going to use your crystals that you've been hoarding for a while, I would say wait for your leader to get in here. I don't know about you, I like things shiny. I like things shiny. Um, and I know it's not that much of a foil card effect, but it, it kind of brings out, it brings out, you know, your taste and your favorite leader. And I think it is worth it. Um, in addition to that, some some of the guys in, uh, in the guild didn't really spend that many crystals to get the foil card that they were looking for, Boba Fett. Uh, one guy specifically got both of them. He got both of them, Luke Skywalker and OG um, Han Solo. So that's one thing I want to go ahead and uh, and encourage you again spend money on your leaders all right you know spoil yourself splurge on the leaders that you use because it feels like the direction this game's going you're going to have to just be using that one leader now if you invest so much money on a perk you know to get them up to level five perks so for example uh, for this dooku i'm thinking about just using all my perks on him so once i get to two three four and five i'm i don't it's going to be too much for me to go and do it for another leader i'm going to really feel like i invested everything into dooku and i'm going to be using him only so if i see a foil perk or if i see a foil card for dooku yeah guess what i'm going to be dropping 2000 crystals until i get it and i'm stubborn too so i don't take l's i don't take l's so i'm gonna keep going so um but the good news is the increased rate of getting these foil cards are a lot higher from when the beta was um when the beta was in testing so that's good news so again foil cards perks those are what you want to use your crystals for if you want to spoil yourself with the leaders if not hoard them just don't use them on the data card quest that's my recommendation. Well, that's all I got, man. That's all I got for now. Again, I wanted to kind of reserve judgment. I want to let a full week go in with this 3.0 launch. But I know um, it, <laughs> there was a lot of uproar since the, the launch last night within the community. So I wanted to address some concerns and questions because I was seeing a lot, of, uh, a lot of comments coming in today on my phone and saying, hey, what about this? So I hope I answer those questions. If you still have a question you need to be answered, Feel free to drop a comment and I'll go ahead and do my best to get that responded to you right away. Um, but yeah, next video I'll be dropping on Saturday and I just need to finish up the templates. If you've seen some of the cards in here, you guys got kind of a good idea of what I'm thinking. Uh, and I think it's going to really help the game in terms of uh, bringing new players in. And uh, yeah, matchmaking. That's all we want. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in two days.